Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Whether you're a regular or you just join us, thank you very much either way for stopping by. So I'm going to be very British and start talking about the weather here. Um, very quickly though. So I had about, a, well I did anyway, a, a stretch of about four or five weeks of really poor weather, clouds and then a three night stretch of beautiful clear skies and then the weather's just turned once again. Um, so you know I do like to try and look on the bright side of a bad situation and that is very much what I've been doing over the last few weeks. So first of all I've been uh, recalibrating my monitor for one and reprocess some uh, some images. I'll share one of them at the end. Uh, it's of the butterfly in the Seda region. I wasn't quite happy with uh, how it turned out but um, I'm happy with it now. Sort of happy anyway. Um, also I've been uh, borrowing uh, someone else's data set. Uh, a channel that I like to follow, uh, Lookomatico, um, a guy called Luke. In his last video he provided some beautiful data set of uh, HA03 um, sofa and I sort of took it away and had a little play around with it in Photoshop. Um, I couldn't follow around with this video because he was using uh, Pixentai but nevertheless I still had some fun. I uh, just to say thanks Luke for providing that and making it available and um, really helped me out. I've never played with that sort of data set before so I really enjoyed it. I'll uh, leave a link to that video on this channel in the description. Um, and the other thing I've been readdressing is the connectivity of my rig and I've been really focused on this I want to really improve on it and this is what this video is going to be all about today. One of my subscribers reached out to me not long back and we ended up having a, a two two and a half hour video call and the main focus was to how he connects his rigs up um, using something like this which is a mini PC. It's sort of like alternative to something like the ASI Pro or the Eagle uh, works off Windows 10, so it is quite familiar uh, to me anyway. And yeah, it's sort of mid conversation. Um, he decided to say, Do you know what, Ben? I'm going to send this out here, sort of try before you buy scenario. So I just want to take the opportunity to say, Stuart, thank you very, very much for letting me try this out and send it out. Um, and see how I get, get on with it for the next uh, month to month. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you how I've actually set this up. Uh, Stuart actually pre-set this up and same as uh, Windows, he, he created a, a login for us and um, gives a password. Um, so I've got my own, own login screen and everything for it. So first of all, the to power this up, the lead for it, it's uh, similar to a mobile phone charger. It's got the USB thing here. Uh, I bought an adapter with the USB slot, so I'll just plug that in first. The output on this is five volts, and it has to be a minimum of 2.4 amps. Anything less than that, um, <laughs> I found it cuts out before you even get to the login screen. Live and learn, it's all good. Now, I'm using a wireless keyboard and mouse, so in the USB slot on the side of the mini PC, I have stuck the wireless receiver for that. And then all I'm gonna do is plug it into the monitor using the HDMI connector here. Now, I appreciate some monitors are gonna be different than others. And with this one, the mini PC goes in nice and straight. With my other monitor, it goes in like that and I can't actually fit the mini PC in. So I actually bought an adapter and a little sort of swivel type. So, once we've done that, all I'm gonna do is power it up. Okay, so as you can see, uh, very standard, it's uh, Windows 10, like I mentioned. All I'm going to do is just put the password in. So the first thing I need to do with this mini PC is get it connected up to my Wi-Fi network. I'm not going to show you how to do that. I'm going to have to do that for any new PC. You can see the icons down here. Uh, the other thing I needed to do was set it up via the remote desktop connection app. And this is so my desktop can talk to my mini PC. So if you can imagine, this is my desktop. All I had to do was put in the mini PC's name and the password for it, uh, connect it, and it's good to go. And uh, now when I remote connect from the desktop, it doesn't ask me for a password, it just automatically does it. And then the other stuff that I need to do was download all the relevant software and drivers. So I'm using the SI533 from ZWO, so I had to go on the ZWO website 
download all the drivers for that and the software that I'm going to be using is Nina so I had to download that as well also today I'm going to be downloading the drivers for the EQ6 R Pro mount just received a lead to today I'm looking at connecting that up as well uh, along with the camera but uh, once that's all done it's pretty much good to go all good there was just uh, get it all set up on my rig just got this all laid out on the table for now I'm going to put on the rig to show you what it looks like in there in a sec but um, so I've got my power supply here and that normally gets uh, hooked up to the mains I've got that hooked up to my Texas Astro uh, Dewmaster uh, power box if you like I haven't got any heater bands plugged in on this at the moment I've got to get some new ones because I uh, broke the one that I had anyway the 12 volt goes into there and then from here I've got a 12 volt DC output I've got two of them that goes to my camera and then from the camera I've got the this lead I've just recently bought off Amazon and it's the USB 3 uh, cable I thought I'd go for a, a braided cable it's a lot more robust the one that supply was said to go I feel like I'm gonna break the thing it's uh, it's quite flimsy so a bit of peace of mind there and that goes to my powered USB hub plugs in here and then from here I've got the USB 3 that goes to the mini PC and here I've got a, a memory stick when I'm doing the image se uh, sequences the actual file path will go to this memory stick and then once I've finished I can just take the USB stick and just put it in my desktop so that's how it's going to all work so what I'll do now I will put it on my rig so you can see what it looks like on there early when I was filming and um, when I was sitting all this up um, my family came back they went out for a bit so all these three kids uh, everything erupted it got really loud so I had to stop filming and wait for them to go to bed however it did give us a chance to hook my mount up and get that all connected and download the relevant drivers um, I went into SourceForge and downloaded an EQ mod and set all that up and I've got it running with Nina. What I'll do is I'll um, take the camera off the mount and I'll run you through where I'm at. I've got the USB 2 a braided hose connected into the mount, uh, the USB slot itself. And that's just running down into my USB hub along with the camera. That means this can go the journey hopefully. Uh, so I won't need that. Of course I'll keep it just in case. Uh, by the way, I'm <laughs> just letting you know, if you see like random things like boxes laying around and stuff uh, We are supposed to be moving, so up to our eyeballs, um, hopefully mid-September uh, Should be gone uh, Anyway, a little off, top <laughs> off topic there This isn't the setup I'm gonna stay with, but it's what I'm doing at the moment um, I do want eventually have my USB hub and uh, if I do decide to stick with the mini PC or whatever I want it all there but I want some different mountains and stuff so everything can fit on there if I feel up there now it's, I think it's going to be a little bit chaotic but as it stands I have my Pegasus power box at the top there obviously from there uh, when I get them the heat bands will be coming off that onto the scope and um, eventually guide scope uh, when I get one and then she start guiding but for now I've got the cables just running down and um, obviously from the camera as well into this sort of cable management um, tube that I'm sort of testing out seems to be doing a good job I've uh, been using it the last few occasions actually so um, yeah not, not too bad I've got the mini PC just connected up on the side there and all hooked up like I showed you earlier so hopefully when I fire this up it should work this is going to be a little disjointed because uh, i can't actually record the screen that's on the mini pc so the initial bit i'll record on my desktop and before i connect up i will swap the cameras around i'll try and record the screen with my dslr here we are on my desktop i like to show you earlier go up to the remote desktop connection and there is the mini pc uh, all ready to go and all i'm going to do is just press connect 
Just connecting up there. You should be able to see the screen in a second. Apologise if this keeps going in and out of focus. I just saved a bit of time. Got Nina up and running now. So all I've got to do is I'm just going to connect the camera up and just on the side here, I'm just going to go to telescope and I'm going to do exactly the same there. I've got EQ mod uh, just popped up there. So all I want to do now, I'm just going to unpack the scope and then I'm going to go over to the Sky Atlas here. I'm going to pick M39 here and I'm just going to slew. <laughs> it works. Oh, I'm happy with that. Pack the scope. each other. That's a good sign. See my little smiley face that I've drawn on a piece of paper. I've just stuck out on the couch in the living room. Just something for the camera to actually reference on. Uh, so happy with that. It's uh, camera is working. I, I had an idea anyway because when I set the cooler for the fans away I could do the fan kick in on the camera. So yeah. Working, all good, I'm very, very happy. Once I've finished my image session, all I've got to do is disconnect the camera and the mount from Nina, shut Nina down, and then to turn off the mini PC, it's exactly the same as I would close my laptop or my uh, desktop uh, via the Windows menu. And once I have shut it down, uh, it'll automatically disconnect and take it back to my desktop home screen. So, uh, that is where I'm currently at in my own personal progression. If this has helped, absolutely brilliant. Uh, you know, I'm happy to have helped, uh, but it's where I'm personally at at present. Um, finally, uh, another item of equipment added into the mix. Uh, and no doubt, there'll be more added in the future, but uh, one thing at a time, uh, little baby steps, I think, for me. Uh, there is, uh, another sort of similar way that I'm going to be uh, doing this in the future. I'm going to wait until I've actually moved, if I do move. Um, but yeah, it's it's not going to be with a mini PC, but um, it's slightly bit different um, that one of my subscribers uh, pointed out. It's run a bit slow. I think that might be down to my Wi-Fi connection though, so I'm going to maybe add at some point a Wi-Fi booster, uh, see if that improves it. Things to maybe look out for, I, I know from past experience when I first got the 533 MC Pro, I was trying to link my desktop with my laptop via the remote desktop connection and it wasn't working and that's because I had Home Edition on the laptop. Now I know that Home Edition doesn't actually have it, I think you have to sort of purchase it separately or upgrade or something like that anyway. I'm going to leave links for as much as I possibly can, items of equipment, uh, people I've mentioned, channels etc in the description below so please feel free to go check that all out. And I want to say a big thank you very much to all my subscribers. Um, very much appreciate it. And you know, um, I, I thoroughly enjoy you know, going reading the comments. I've had some really nice conversations via email and video call uh, recently. So yeah, um, I'm very much enjoying the whole YouTube journey and uh, hopefully you're enjoying the content that I'm um, creating for you guys and I'll, I'll try my very best to continue um, creating the content as best as I can. Last but not least, I'll leave you with this reprocessed image of Butterfly in the Cedar region in the constellation Cygnus. So, hope you enjoy and on that note, please take care everyone, clear skies and bye for now.